Hello guys, uh, let's discuss about scatter gather, uh, which is one of the flow controls in Mule 4. Uh, okay, now, so I'll uh, let you know what I have done in this flow. So I have created a HTTP listener here where the path is scatter gather. Okay, now uh, this is logger, right? So I have configured payload uh, predefined variable here so that I can show you that uh, the same payload is getting copied to uh, the scatter gather and for each and every route of it. Okay, so here also the, I, I have configured the same, the same thing just to let you know that uh, it will be copied to all the routes of the scatter gather. Okay, and after that here what I'm doing, I'm writing the same content into a file. So uh, there is some file on my desktop, uh, sorry, folder. And uh, inside that, uh, there is a file with dump file.txt. So I, I would like to write the same thing into that um, into that file. And after that, I would like to uh, transform that, the payload which I'll be sending, uh, okay, this way, uh, the way I have configured here, okay. And also the, the same payload, I would like to uh, send the re send it as a request to the HTTP listener, which I have configured in the same flow on port number 8082. If you see the configuration here, I have put the uh, port as 8082. Okay, so yeah, so this particular HTTP listener is listening on 8082 port, and the uh, path is internal request. Okay, yeah. So now what happens? So this is something like it it. It copies the input to all the routes, okay, and it it grabs the output from each and every route, okay, and it clubs it as one entity and sends as the output uh, out of the scatter gather, okay. So here I am printing the payload, so which will be a hash map. It will be in the Java for Java format, and that is and just to uh, show you, like in a readable format, I am converting it to JSON, okay. So this is the uh, this is uh, all about uh, scatter gather and as per the documentation we need to have at least two routes. If you put only one route and um, configure this, this whole the flow will not even work. So that is as per the documentation. Okay. So this is up and running. Now let me send the a file actually. So here I put name edge. Let me cross verify. Uh, name edge profession okay so one moment let me quickly uh, take the file okay that's fine let me construct the file sorry so we are planning to send the JSON file right so I'm going to keep name as something like uh, something like uh, Vijay okay and okay let me not put my name so I'm going to put something like Ram Okay, and age, uh, I'm going to put it as something like 25. Okay, and uh, let me put the profession as, okay, something like actor. Okay, and uh, I think that that should be enough, but let me keep this one as well. Okay, so, okay, so this is the sample uh, JSON file, right? So let me copy this and paste it in the uh, postman's uh, body so copy paste this okay please ignore this uh, now uh, let me send the okay we, we have to convert this to uh, json from text right so i'm so this is the json payload okay so i'm sending this uh, as a rec as a along with the request to this thing okay so let me uh, focus on this console click on send See, now um, we got some issue that is at, at this thing uh, on the third uh, route, but it shows it as route two, okay? So it says that this service is unavailable, okay? Okay, so before I uh, look into this issue, let me explain this. So this is the payload, which I'm printing it here, the same payload, okay? And the same thing, uh, it, it got printed here, here, like in these three loggers, right? So one, this is the initial one, and two, this is three, and this is the fourth logger, same payload. So got uh, copied to each and every route of this scatter gather. So till here, it is clear. 
now let me check um, whether the same uh, content is written in this file okay so go to this yeah it's already opened now you see here the same content got uh, written it was written right and that to at uh, 20 to 41 like uh, one and a half minute or two minutes back okay let me click on close so this is done so uh, this route got executed successfully now uh, okay this we cannot see it now itself okay but we'll see later okay because we got some issue right we have to look into this issue first of all so i have configured this one so port is local host and port is 8082 okay let me click on this now let's check this so it is the same thing click on this and the path is the same internal request right internal request so everything is good so why it failed is what we have to check so if we, if i check this it says that uh, exceptions were found for routes okay let me check what is there inside this okay so everything is good actually let me check this payload.name payload.h and payload.profession so everything is gonna good i think okay one second guys uh, let me pause this and once i fix this i'll let you know uh, what happened okay so what happened is uh, unknowingly this uh, this was in the stopped mode okay so that's why uh, it is not able to send the request to that listener okay uh, one moment i think it's recording okay fine now uh, let me send the same request once again okay let me send this request once again so now you see here uh, okay i'll show you here see now this uh, i have kept that uh, an option to overwrite it so that that's why now you see the same the content got written into this file okay so this got executed successfully okay go to console now see here this is the first uh, loggers output this is second loggers uh, log logger value this is this is the third one and this is for the fourth one okay now you see you could see something um, this this one this is this will be in the mostly like in the java format i mean i'm talking about the payload actually okay so if i copy this thing so this will be in the so if you see here the payload is uh, it is in in unreadable format something we cannot read it right and you see here so uh, this is the output from that um, what we are getting from the uh, scatter gather so you see here we could see three three payloads right three objects okay within the main main thing so this we will call as hash map so you see here uh, there is something with zeroth index okay that is from here to here and from here to uh, here it is like no, not this one this one so till here it is like with uh, first index okay I mean that that is the second res, uh, routes response okay now whatever we are seeing here is the third routes response okay so that means it has aggregated the the responses from each and every route okay so in order to see this payload in a readable format what i did i have uh, simply converted this particular thing whatever we are seeing in the screen okay i have converted this to json okay so that is what i'm going to copy right now okay i'm, I'm i just copied it let me paste it in new window now you see here the payload is like this so this is the this is from the first um, this is from the first route right so we we have written the file into a file that's it and the payload will remain as is right so that's why it is it is showing the actual payload as is okay now let me go to the second payload that is this okay maybe it's because of the character mismatch it, it didn't uh, print that um, name properly okay you can ignore it for now but okay it is like just because of case mismatch that's it now you see here it is it has printed this null name as null age as 25 and profession as actor right so so this is how um i i mean this is how uh, the response will be from each and every route actually okay and 
uh, it, it will be having something like payload and as well as the attributes okay so these are the attributes which we got from the from the initial request itself okay so th these are the attributes so so as we are not overriding in this route okay the the same attributes got copied okay and the same scenario for the second route right we didn't override any of the attributes so that's the reason you could see the attributes value uh, got copied and it's the same actually okay for the second route as well but uh, it, this is the response from the http request and response right so that's why you could see the attributes are less and the a status code from the HTTP listener is 200 to the HTTP request. Okay, so this is how um, it it aggregates the response. Okay, and um, it gives as uh, as one response uh, from this scatter gather. Okay, and it is up to you. Like uh, it is from here onwards, it is up to your requirement. Like how to handle the response actually. Okay, so uh, this is all about the scatter gather. Previously, uh, we got the issue right. So, so the thing is that if you get issue from one route, okay, it will not hamper the execution of the other routes. So the other routes will execute successfully, but will not see the output, but uh, they will be uh, executed and they will be, um, I mean, they will be done with their, uh, this, this route, it, this scatter gather will perform or execute this, uh, this route successfully. So whatever results in error only that particular thing will be impacted not the others okay so let me also fix this issue so here we got some issue right let me go here and uh, you could see this is with the capital name okay but here in the input file i put something like small n right so maybe the, that is the issue okay now let me copy this thing okay so i go to console okay so everything is cleared let i'm copying this sorry sorry uh, i'm copying this now I have to paste it here. Okay, now click on send. See, now you are getting the name, right? Name, and also here also you are getting the name. Okay, so so this is how the scatter gather works, and issue in one route uh, will not hamper the execution of the other routes. And one more thing, um, generally people will be asking about like. If, if uh, route one is taking five seconds and if route two is taking 10 seconds and if route three is, is taking uh, 15 seconds to execute so what is the total time to uh, to complete this whole thing so that will be like 15 seconds okay because this this has taken um, most i mean more time right so so this is uh, all about scatter gather and i hope you understood something out of this and thank you for watching my video Thank you.